Which multi-billionaire tech mogul's Washington home is equipped with sensors that track each guest and change the lights and music as you wander its cavernous halls? If you answered Bill Gates, you'd be right. His home, modestly named Xanadu 2.0, boasts all kinds of crazy features. Its computer screens cost $80,000 and display art and photos. The enormous library contains a Leonardo da Vinci manuscript worth over $30 million, and he keeps his artificial stream stocked with salmon and trout. And all for the low, low price of $127 million. But we're just getting started. Today, we're counting down the most expensive and extravagant homes around the world. This next one comes in at a whopping 155 million. On the snowy slopes of Montana sits Seven the Pinnacle, a luxury estate that comes with all kinds of perks. Have you ever been skiing or golfing and thought, this would be so much better without all those pesky people around cramping my style? Well, you're in luck. Seven the Pinnacle includes a private golf course and ski resort. Not just a ski hill, a ski resort. Those elaborate amenities and many more earn this giant home a solid 3 out of 10 on our deluxe-a-meter. When it comes to over-the-top luxury estates, Beverly Hills is a prime location. Owned by the American real estate billionaire Jeff Green, this is the Palazzo di Amore. Worth over $195 million, this gigantic home comes with all the usual Beverly Hills amenities, including an indoor movie theater and a bowling alley. What sets this place apart are its private disco and a vineyard that produces up to 500 cases of wine per year. It might seem like everyone has a mega mansion these days, but did you know that Kim Kardashian's house is only worth $60 million? While that's still an insane price to pay for a home, it's practically paltry compared to the extravagant homes on this list. Americans don't have all the fun. Across the pond in London, England, is 1819 Kensington Gardens. Originally, it was two separate homes that an owner combined to form a gigantic luxury home. Crafted of the same marble used to build the Taj Mahal, it contains a swimming pool, spa, and an in-house hairdresser. Lakshmi Mittal owns the property. He is one of India's richest people and owns the largest steel manufacturing firm in the world. His home is valued at $222 million. The Hamptons might be known for expensive real estate, but Four Fairfield Pond blows the other homes out of the water. Owned by yet another American billionaire, Ira Rennert, this New York State estate is worth $248 million. Along with the usual rich person stuff like pools, this mammoth home also features a Broadway-sized stage, a private museum filled with Rennert's $500 million art collection, and a power plant. The serious Mr. Burns vibes at 4 Fairfield Pond earn it a 6 out of 10. In Monaco, the Odeon Tower penthouse comes in at $330 million. It's the top five floors of a skyscraper. This elaborate penthouse takes up 3,530 square meters and contains multiple kitchens, a dance floor, and an infinity pool with a water slide. If you're going to own a house worth 365 million, why not have a little fun with it? The famous French-Italian designer Pierre Cardin owns the eccentric Le Palais Boule in Cannes. The house is named after its unique bulbous architecture. It has 10 suites, a handful of swimming pools, and an incredible view of the Mediterranean Sea. It also has a 500-seat amphitheater, which earns it a 7 out of 10 on the Deluxe-a-meter. The One was the most expensive home in the United States to be sold in an auction. Located in Bel Air, California, it sold for just $141 million because the developer ran up an astronomical debt. The owner of the fast fashion company, Fashion Nova, bought it to enjoy the home's juice bar, beauty salon, and four-lane bowling alley. Moving back to the French Riviera, here's the ultra-expensive Villa La Leopolda. King Leopold II gave this home to his mistress. Today, it's registered as a French monument and valued at $750 million. It's believed to be the third largest private home on the planet. And yes, you saw it in Hitchcock's film To Catch a Thief. Lily Safra, the widow of Brazilian banker Edmund Safra, owns it now. Located in the famed Billionaire's Row in Mumbai, Antilia is 60 stories tall. 
But since the ceilings are so high, the home only has 27 floors. India's richest man owns the gigantic private residence. It's valued at an insane 2 billion, and its 600 staff zoom around in nine high-speed elevators. The first six floors protect 168 cars. Mumbai is known for heat and humidity, so the snow rooms below zero temps is an especially cool feature. But no list of obscenely expensive homes would be complete without the one and only Buckingham Palace. Home to the British royal family, this famous residence is worth an estimated 6.7 billion. It has 775 rooms and a surgery suite. King Charles III was born in the palace. It's so big that it functions more like a small town than a house, with its own post office, ATM, and chapel. Buckingham Palace earns the top spot on our deluxe meter.